Growing up was, it was hard. My mother was a very unhappy woman and uh, she took it out on me a lot. I was told a lot as a child that I was worthless and that I was never gonna be loved. I grew up believing it and didn't know what to do, didn't feel like I deserved happiness or anything. I remember the day I found out I was pregnant with Joanna. I was 20 and poor and broken and in a bad relationship. I definitely thought I couldn't be a mother. There was no way. But I just knew that I had to have her. And so I did it. And I looked at that little pink face and I just said, I'm just gonna screw up and I'm gonna make mistakes but we're in this together, and we'll get through it together. Joanna and I were on our own, and we would leave our apartment, and we would go out of that safe gate into the world of the downtown east side of Vancouver. Walking down the street, there would be junkies passed out on the street uh, with needles hanging out of their arm, and I would distract Joanna by uh, pointing out the clouds in the sky that looked like a duck, or the bird in the tree so she wouldn't have to see that kind of stuff. When you're that poor and living in that extreme poverty, you have to make decisions and you have to prioritize things. I would drink a lot of water and I remember going to bed and saying, tomorrow I'll eat. Tomorrow Joanna and I will eat together. We'll have a meal together. That didn't always happen, but it did sometimes. Somebody told me about the Toy Lending Library in Boness. They were telling me about different programs that the United Way helped fund or the United Way was a part of and it totally helped me come out of that depression. And it got me to a point where I thought I can do better than this and I am worthy of more than this. What I do know about poverty is it can very well be generational. I think about my mother and I think about the abuse she suffered as a child and then she abused me as a child and it could have so easily just kept going and going and going and going if it hadn't have been for the help that I had received. I broke that cycle because of the help of United Way. I really wanted Joanna to have such a successful life and she was able to go through school and graduate university and I cried so hard when she walked that stage because I just felt like, thank God, thank God that I had people and programs and community in my life that I was able to give her that. When I'm telling my story, I quite often forget to talk about my youngest daughter, Micah, because she came into our family after everything was okay. But the thing is, she was actually affected by the United Way because she came into a healthy family. I have a loving husband, and I have healthy, wonderful children, and I have a family that's close. I have a relationship with my daughters that I never thought I'd be able to have. When you support the United Way, you're not just supporting the here and now, you're supporting generations to come. And who doesn't want that for our city? We want strong young people who are going to be raised in a healthy world, in a healthy city, in a healthy home, so they can be our city's future. So when you help the United Way, that's what you're helping. <laughs>